Till the filmmakers of Shrek originally used All Star as a placeholder, intending to replace it, but DreamWorks executive insisted on the song itself being used. Smash Mouth was initially apprehensive about their song being used, but agreed after being impressed by an early screening of the film. Everyone Forgets All Star was the theme to Mystery Men the year before. Edit, Mystery Men 1999 Shrek 2001 So a year thereabouts. Somebody once told me it was the best thing that ever happened to them. Smash Mouth were saving the song for a Wes Anderson film. We are so impressed by the screening of this film. Of course you can use our song. Where do I endorse this screening so that we can deposit it into our bank account? Smash Mouth Apparently Bang the Doldrums by Fall Out Boy was supposed to be in one of the Shrek films but the studio considered it too sexual. I was at the park with my two-year-old the other day and a bunch of primary school-aged kids started singing it. This could vindicate Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins. One time him and Smash Mouth had online beef. Billy Corgan said they were in running to provide song for that part of film. Smash Mouth guy said no one else was ever considered, and why would you put a sad Smashing Pumpkins song in a children's film? Yeah the executives from Sony on this film were really dicks. Hashtag free self. Were Smash Mouth that big that they could demand a special screening before deciding to allow the song to be used? I'm sure the most sold out band ever was concerned for about as long as it took to write the check. All Star was used as the song in Mystery Men, 1999, well before Shrek, 2001, so not sure how apprehensive they could be when they already went through that exact same thing with the exact same song. I guarantee they just did it cashed the checks and never looked back. Astro Lounge is a good record, fight me. A lot, https colon slash slash www. YouTube. Com slash playlist, list equals pldfb2c84b1123e2a5, of it, https colon slash slash udo. b slash qvfi underscores go, still, https colon slash slash udo. B slash F0 SDZ CDMB4, holds up, HTTPS colon slash slash U2. B slash 4 PUC8 XDKHK. I was more surprised with them using a cover of a Buzzcocks song. Does nobody remember the first movie where it played over the end credits? Mystery Men with Hank Azaria, Janine Garofalo, William H. Macy, Pee Wee Herman, Ben Stiller, Greg Kinnear and Eddie Izzard. In my opinion the wrong movie got associated with that song. Yada, yada, yada. Then they played at Sturgis and there was a coronavirus outbreak. The years start coming and they don't stop 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 coming. It was a huge hit at the time, not weird at all. It topped the charts. My three-year-old loves Shrek and the Shrek song while he's taking a bath. So at bedtime I have to sing this damn song. Of course they were apprehensive. They were finna be the next Beatles. Eric Valentine produced Smash Mouth's Astro Lounge album and he was hired to produce the song for the opening sequence of Shrek. This is why All Star was the placeholder. The song was Stay Home by Self, which ended up playing in the credits. When the song was completed and edited into the opening sequence, it just didn't fit as well as All Star. This is my recollection from working on the film as an assistant music editor. I recall I picked up a hard drive of the final version of Stay Home from Valentine at the studio and brought it to the dubbing slash mixing stage to be edited in. As a Smash Mouth fan at the time this was a big deal to me. Imagine Smash Mouth thinking their song was too good for Shrek. Lmoa. What's crazy to me was that All Star was made for the movie Mystery Men, but also used in Shrek and Rat Race. All within a short span of time. I find it hard to believe Smash Mouth is picky about anyone paying to use their music. Link to specific section, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash all underscore star underscore percent 28 song percent 29 hashtag film underscore and underscore popular underscore culture. This happens a lot with movies. They use music as a temp score, 
but because directors watch theirs cut so many times they become so used to the temp music that putting any other music under it feels wrong with them. A famous example is Star Wars. For C-3PO and R2-D2's arrival on Tatooine they used the introduction to the sacrifice from the Rite of Spring by Stravinsky. And they fell in love with the temp score, so John Williams had to compose something very similar for it to work in the director's eyes. Honestly no offense, but Shrek was the best thing to happen to Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth has 71 soundtrack credits on their IMDb. For comparison, the Beatles have 93. This band was the worst part of the movie Rat Race. The end. As if Smash Mouth would have any thoughts other than the dollar they'll make on the royalties. Kids born the last 20 years know it as the Shrek song. Smash Mouth got effin' lucky. I refuse to believe that Smash Mouth ever had a second of doubt about selling that song to literally anyone willing to pay for it. If it weren't for Shrek, Smash Mouth would have faded into obscurity long long ago. It ain't no joke, I like to watch this ogre bloke. I knew this. You know how I knew this? Because. Somebody once told me. Aw, oh, we finally know where the blame lies. Nice going, Steve. Fuck smash mouth. Covet spreading chuckle heads. I can understand their concern. A musical masterpiece like that doesn't just happen. Lots of hard work, talent. Ha 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 sorry, I couldn't. Song is shite band is worse. They were goddamned lucky. I bet the royalty checks soothe their apprehension a bit. Smash Mouth is a euphemism for Cunnilingus. If anybody is a South Park fan, I've heard Trey and Matt mention that the crab people that ended up popping up in multiple episodes were another example of this exact same placeholder method. Trey said that they would often put in stupid placeholders when they got stuck on a certain plot point in an episode, then later go back and put something real in. When they got to the Queer Eye episode, the crab people were meant to be a stand-in until they came up with a better resolution to the episode. South Park is famously produced on an insanely short schedule, so they got to the last minute, still had nothing, then just said screw it and kept the crab people in. It's too bad the lead singer of Smash Mouth turned into such a mess. Why would anyone ever not want their song in a film LMAO? Smash Mouth then went on to do nothing for 20 years until they saw their window out from obscurity and became anti-mask morons. Jesus Christ that album cover has it all, bleach blonde hair, silky shirts, soul patches, pencil beards, bucket hats, stupid facial expressions, the cool guy, the lean in, the lean back, a green screen, terrible font. It's the most impressively awful album cover holy shit. Did it not matter that this song was originally made used to promote the film Mystery Men? This song brings a lot of fantastic childhood memories, especially for Shrek. Parents used to take me and my sister to North Wales, UK as a special trip when the movies came out and we used to make a day of it at the beach, buffet at Pizza Hut and a screening of the new Shrek to end it on with sweets we had all sneaked in. I'll always hold those memories. It's crazy the amount of footage and photos my parents documented of us growing up, but we never took any of that particular day. Astro Lounge is a great album and you can't convince me otherwise. Considering where they ended up, that's the best decision they ever made. They said hey now. Smash Mouth was worried about their artistic integrity, huh? Somebody. In what universe would Smash Mouth not be absolutely thrilled to be included in any major motion picture? Meanwhile in 2020, Smash Mouth will happily perform an entire 1HR concert to be paid only in a single 6 foot long sub sandwich. Anyone else remember the lead singer in that live action Scooby Doo movie that we all pretend doesn't exist? Whenever this song comes up I have to repost this video https colon slash slash youtube com slash watch v equals xrbnb5 vop mm. We need the full cut where All Star replaces the songs. Imagine Smash Mouth having better options.